All right, so tonight uh, I'm working on this Craftsman snow blower, 24 inch. Just was asked to get it ready for the season. You can tell it's almost there. <laughs> anyway, we're looking at the 179 cc engine. I'm going to be changing the oil and stuff like that, but that's not what this video is about today. The video is about the fact that I fired it up to warm up the oil so it can drain easy. And the RPMs seem to be really low. And um, what what I have to do to increase the RPMs, let's take a look at the front side here. Inside here is a screw that adjusts where the throttle slide um, is. Uh, it just adjusts to how far it could go. And it, it, it's set just uh, so it can't go nearly as far as it should so it's only getting oh somewhere just shy of 3000 rpms and i'm looking to get 3600 rpms now the what i'm about to show you is a little bit of a pain in the butt process to get to that screw um, you can do it without but for the purpose of this video i'm going to just uh, take things apart so that you can see what's going on so the first thing we're going to do is take this heat cover off and there are two 10 millimeter bolts here two 10 millimeter bolts here and there's a 10 millimeter bolt there and another one there and that's the problem that one there is covered up by the plastic belt cover and the plastic belt cover is best accessed by taking off this so yeah it's a few steps but it's really not that difficult so here we go all right so one thing i want to show you how to get this plastic cover off it's pretty simple and uh, one of my other videos and i'll link i'll put the link up there in the corner to show you how to remove this um, it's just held on by some plastic clips and what you do is you just grab yourself a, a flathead screwdriver of some sort or, and you uh, get it behind this plastic piece and pry it out okay and then what you can do let's back this off and you'll see here it's all one piece you continue to rotate this out and then twist it So, now you got that piece off. Now if you want to, you could, there are three on here. There's another one here. That's as far as it goes. And so that's two of them. You don't need to take the third one off because check this out you should be able to just wiggle it right off and you'll see the third one's there and, the, and there we are so we've got the uh, the shoot off now to access the shroud or the belt cover there is a bolt here that's got 10 millimeter head another one on the other side Get those out of there. There you go. And this one has kind of a pointed tip to it. Keep that in mind because these other bolts we're pulling out are also 10 millimeter, but they, they don't have that pointed tip. So two screws or bolts. This comes off. Now we can access the bolt that's here that's holding this piece on in here. And you'll see what I mean. This one does not have a, a pointed end. Here, take these two bolts out. And the last two bolts 
are right here and they have to be taken out with a wrench so I'll do that oh, it's loose already that's good I'll make sure it's not loose when I put it back together Alright, now we should be able to lift this whole thing right off. Here we go. Alright, and what we're after is this right here. This screw is what I was trying to show you. It could get in here with the screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver. And um, back that off. Somebody t push that all the way up so that this uh, right there, the slide let's see if I can get focused the slide doesn't doesn't go any further than that and I and I needed to to get the RPMs up so let me pick up the screwdriver that I dropped and um, basically I want to reach in here and I want to start backing it off the appropriate spot okay, you can, so let's fire it up and, and make it happen so there we go uh, we went from under 3,000 uh, rpms increased the speed up to about 3,600 rpms internet information about what rpms to run on this is a little bit sketchy um, 3,600 is uh, pretty standard for some of the older Tecumseh engines and uh, snowblower engines so um, this one sounds rough right now because I'm running some some sea foam and stuff through it probably hasn't been run since last year um, but uh, right now that was my focus was to at least get the rpms up where it belonged so let's put this thing back together and, and finish the tune up on her thanks for watching and as the oil is dripping during the oil change i'll get a shot of the model number here for you there we go 